and welcome to Patito's Gang. I'm Nenna Jemye. Nigeria is evolving. We're finally speaking out against domestic violence towards women. But what about the men? Are we talking about them? Today, the gang addresses this. Let's tune in. Domestic uh, violence and gender challenge has become a very serious uh, matter in, in Nigeria. Not only in Nigeria, but in Africa. And the world is uh, crying for gender inequality, gender balance, and the rate of uh, men being shown more uh, aggression towards their spouses and also the women folk too. So men have been beaten up by their spouse, you know, and uh, so the thing is uh, growing by the day, and that's why even the Lagos state government, the Nigerian government, and some other states are, you know, trying to see what they can do to enact laws uh, to against, uh, you know, domestic violence, and uh, people are now coming out openly to talk about it for cultural reasons. Uh, some other people are still holding back. Uh, you know, from talking about it, people have been encouraged. So these are the issues. How do we deal with this? You know, what is the role of the media, different agencies, the NGOs, and all that? You know, in this uh, fight against domestic violence. Yes, and that's what we're discussing. Uh, Ethel, your next part in this gender thing. And we can see at the gap, we, we respect gender too. You know? Well, yeah. it's 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 a huge one. I don't know what to say, but but it's it's getting terrible. I'm talking about gender challenge with respect to domestic violence. Initially, in this part of the world, talking about Nigeria in particular, domestic violence. When you say domestic violence, it usually meant violence against mm -hmm. the female. Yes. That's talking about the spouse that is female. Mm -hmm. But in recent times, at least in the last two, three, four years, it hasn't been the case at all because now we have women being violent against their male spouse and vice versa so i don't know what we are going to do about this but i must thank the media the media has really come to play an important role now because before now culturally we couldn't talk about it as females most especially you can't say your husband slapped you or your husband kicked you but with the media the social media, print media, whatever form of media, women have been able to come out more to talk about domestic violence. And uh, to talk about this, not the recent is, is, uh, incident, incident in, uh, was it Abuja? Oh. Yes, Abuja. Where Lagos is the most recent. We have an Abuja where a male was killed. A male was killed because the wife saw uh, a text, a text message, message from, go from a female. Allegedly. Allegedly that it was an Adam affair. An affair. She could not confirm it, and act in a, in a fit of anger, she killed the man. I don't, I don't think any human being ought to act like that at all. Uh, there, 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 there's something trending. There's, there's a woman that's into an, uh, an NGO. She said, leave and leave. Leave, as in walk away mm -hmm. and be alive. Okay. That's what Leave and mean. leave. Leave mm -hmm. and leave. That's uh, just finish for my thoughts. That's a bit. Said leave back. If 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 you think you're angry and you can't take it mm -hmm. anymore, why take not walk away? Well, take a walk from the marriage. I think, I think this it's is not a do or die affair. This domestic violence thing that we are talking about, like she said, is beginning to come to the public space. You know, public, you know, people are beginning to talk more of it. But it has always been. But it's aggravated in recent times because of the economic situations. People are aggressive because of the challenges they have. Men can't be able to meet up their responsibilities. The spouse, the female spouse, are not getting what they're supposed to get. And of course, gender in itself is about roles. The roles the man is supposed to play, the role the woman is supposed to play, the expectations of society on the male expectations. So when the males are not able to fulfill their expectations, and sometimes they transfer the anger, it's a transfer aggression to their females, their wives, and the wives also because of them. Um, you know, they are not able to get all they're supposed to be expecting, you know, from their husband. So there's there's issue of transferred aggression. The females are, are being aggressive towards their husbands. Meanwhile, it is not immediately the husband not wanting to do what they're supposed to do. 
society has made it difficult for them to live up to the societal expectations of them. And the female, their wives probably did not understand it. And even the, the, the so everybody is transferring aggression on each other, and the society is losing for it. So that's. I, that's, think I, I will just take it from. You. Completely. I mean, I think there are very many aspects of domestic violence, but I think one of the things is that we can't ignore the cultural representation and expectations where a male child is brought up believing he has a right to do certain things. And what I would say is if you do not raise the boys to be men, it is much harder to fix broken men. You need to understand that as a male child from childhood, you need to teach boys to respect not just themselves but the female sex. Absolutely. You also teach women to understand their roles and their rights and not just roles, rights and responsibilities, but the authority they to have. There is no reason for that one gender should super impose its will on another gender. There's no reason. And that's how we need to raise our children. Because once they grow up without understanding that, I know of I've heard of heard of people who are male who believe if your wife does something really bad, it is okay to hit her. It is sometimes even cultural, and in fact, some certain religions yes. approve of it. Yes. yes. So yes. you need to understand that that is a cultural issue, and these same people will tell you gender violence is wrong. You ask them what goes on in their house, they tell you no, 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 no. She, that's different. That's different yeah. So you need to bring, we need to bring it to everybody's, the fore of everybody's mind, that the fact that you are treating somebody different, different. in an aggressive way because the person is of a different gender is wrong. Full stop. And we must, we yeah. must also bring to bear that domestic violence is not necessarily physical. Yeah, I'm sure. It's, it's not physical yeah. in all aspects. And before it becomes physical. It is first of all emotional. There is an abuse. There is an emotional abuse because domestic violence, going back to the definition, is like somebody trying to take control in a relationship in an abusive manner. You're trying to to bring the other person under. First, you start talking down on that person. Yeah. Maybe if it's female, uh, you didn't even come from a good background. Talking to the man, you don't even have money. I don't know what I saw in you. Yeah, uh, because you. I, I I remember uh, my. For my life, you know, in the media, yeah. there was a, a place I worked, and uh, you know, the, this man used that emotional and psychological violence against uh, some of the staff. And it, when the man calls you for a meeting, it's like, who even brought you up? Your mother did not give you home training. And you're like, you see, you know, when we get to when he calls us for a meeting, nobody is able to say anything. Exactly. We just. And he transferred that to his own home. Mm -hmm. And the wife they came from a, a family, a well-to-do family in this country. But she could not do anything, even to use the phone in the house. Why? Who told you to touch that phone? Even when the wife, he, 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 at the point he was living in the wife's family house. But still, this man was a terror to everyone. And you know, when the man died, it's like this depression. Mm -hmm. the, the, the exactly. wife, you know, she gave her freedom and began to do what the, she couldn't understand what happened to her. And this is where the system needs to rise up because people who suffer abuse will almost always be intimidated. It's not going to be easy for them to stand up, especially where you see a home where the woman has been brought up, and it happens rather frequently where we raise women to be under men. And you see people pray that, oh, I hope you marry a good man. I hope you become a first lady. And as a as a man, man, why can't you raise her yeah. to be an independent person? Independent. And at the end of the day, he raises a man exactly. in a certain way and he looks down on his dependent. It's not supposed to be that way. Exactly. Now, if he turns around to abuse her and she reports, what is our law enforcement's attitude towards domestic violence. What is the judiciary? So you need to understand that if these people come out, you cannot resolve it. You need to take affirmative action and allow the abused person to be able to be independent. Because if there's no independence, the abuse will not stop. I think the all. issue is that there's, there's a fundamental abuse of women. Initially, women are regarded as second class citizens. So they are raised as second class citizens, and uh, because of that, when 
they live because the life of women actually they are operates in two dimensions at home and in the society, maybe at workplace. Sometimes men transfer the values, the relationships they have with their wives at home, which is supposed to be subservient as a girl because he says, Women submit to your husband. So they bring that submit to your husband to the office space and expect that a colleague in the office, for instance, being female. Being female, she submit, and women sometimes accept it. That's why you see in the office, women would like to go and do the little, prepare the snacks, prepare the tea because they they are transferring that domestic subservient life to the public space. It is not their responsibility. Is it, is, it, is it wrong or right? But don't answer, don't respond yet. When we return, we we'll get back. So let's take a break. We'll be right back. The gang believes it's time for a different perspective on gender roles within the home, as well as how we raise our little ones. What are your thoughts on how we can prevent domestic violence? Let's hear from you. When the government is saying that way, it will be reduced. The number of people that are just fighting to get there. Uh, it's really a sad development, and um, I personally think that how to curb this you know, the government can uh, sponsor programs on how to sensitize people on the consequences and the harmful effects of domestic violence. You know, educate people, the male folks, on how to accommodate uh, the women, their wives, girlfriends baby mamas all sorts of labels that women come with these days you know how to tolerate them and how to manage their temper you know so i i really feel the government and the family as well you know it, it, it goes a long way you know on how the, the upbringing of our our brothers husbands you know how they can you know relate better with family members and also it's not you know the victims are not always women uh, the, the, the male folks uh, have also heard of men being raped even though the percentage is really very little but they are also victims as well you know so there are lots of factors that play you know that play out in domestic violence there are a lot of things are happening you know many things are happening in nigeria today bad things you see all our girls most of them are half naked going on the streets when you ask them they say this is a modern time this is our own time global time and uh, most of them their parents are seeing them they don't talk to them rather sometimes they will tell them that they should uh, when you're coming back bring something for me why are you talking like that you are introducing your girl uh, to a uh, private harlot are you getting my point instead of you to tell your girl where are you going ask or show her give her time to come back and when she did not come back that time you punish her are you getting my point gearing up for the 15th cdl annual lecture and international leadership symposium we need to reorganize our educational system the educational system must reflect the new realities of the 21st century our young people are much, much better than we give them credit for. And they want to change their country and they are committed. The new tribe of Nigerians is necessary. It is that new tribe of Nigerians that I think we all uh, should belong. That tribe that doesn't know the North or South or the West or doesn't even know religion. Just the Nigerian, the great Nigerian. Join the Center for Values and Leadership on February 6, 2018 as we discuss the theme Leadership and Performance in Africa, the Challenge of the Continent's Economic Competitiveness. For sponsorship and advert placement, contact Modestus plus 234 80 3474 at cvl.com.ng. James plus 234 286645 J Abube at cvl.com.ng To register, log on to www.cvl.com.ng Finally, most, uh, most homes, you know, you find that the male child 
is brought up differently from the female child. The female child, the mother will sit her down, you know, you know, don't allow any man to come close to you, you get pregnant, and you need to behave in a certain way, uh, make sure that your husband is happy, you have to do this, the domestic chores, and all that. And many years ago, when I, I was still making babies, and my last boy, he was four, and uh, he uh, told his elder brother, what are you doing in the kitchen? He said, he's cooking, so are you, are you a woman? Why should you be in the kitchen? That's a narrative. Yeah, so I quickly, you know, uh, rebuked myself. What do you mean by that? Is it only that I should, should be in the kitchen? But today, that boy is the chief cook in my house. <laughs> yeah, he's the chief cook. He so, for example, it is the mothers that sometimes we emphasize the fact that their sons should not be in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, need, we need a reschooling. Good, yes. We need That's a reschooling yes. because we have to attain our mind. Our mind was set, I think, from our traditional African mentality or background. We were, we we're made to be believe that women were supposed to be domesticated in yes. upbringing yes. Yes. than the males. In fact, my son, my little son, he's just four, and he'll ask me, ah, mommy, you go to work these days too much, and you come back late. Is daddy that is supposed to go to work? He's four. He's just four. So, so. And because at school, they even say, what are, what, what, what are the duties of your mom? And they say, mommy's duty is to cook. Who made mommy's duty? So we need to, we need to separate. So what, That's socialization. Uh, we, we, we need to separate certain issues. So first of all, what I would advocate is your male and female children are brought up with equal opportunities. Equal opportunities. The same thing. Exactly. Your two Absolutely. Steps. Does not mean if one is better at the, something or the other, does... You can choose. Exactly. So what you do is you should not box anybody into a room. Let them choose. Exactly. In some things, in some things, you go to some factories, there are only women. Not because they are trying to domesticate the women, but because in that factory, especially they in better. cloth making, they're not, and they are better for a reason. Mm -hmm. Their hands are smaller. Yes. So they are able to do things faster exactly. than men bulky hands. Mm -hmm. If you have those physiological that's attributes, that's, 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 that's a good That's a good observation. Choose it. You don't force fit her into it. Exactly. If you have a daughter that decides I want to be an engineer, by all means, exactly. be an engineer. You have a son. And the funny thing is, you see, the truth, what I believe is that over culture, African culture, and sadly and unfortunately over religious culture as well, exactly. the woman is put down. And I think that we need to understand that. And I wrote an article about it. People found it very funny. And I said from the Christian context, in one instance, God said, I will send you a helper. And he sent the Holy Spirit. And I asked people, how do you relate to the Holy Spirit? Do you make the Holy Spirit subservient to you? No. In the first instance with Adam and Eve, God said, I will send you a helper. So why is it that you made hope? I think that if, the, if human beings understood the role of a woman, a man would not make her subservient. Unfortunately, culture, time, teachings, everything has forced. So it's a culture we need to break. Because the moment a woman thinks she's subservient and the man thinks he has authority, you are automatically introducing an expectation. And once that you introduce an obligation, and the obligation brings in an expectation, and when the expectation fails, they'll be violent. And that is why that's, 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 that's a revolt re, 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 that you see that results into physical violence. Yes. The yes. woman wants to be herself. And the man refuses. The man yes. says you can't be yourself. Or vice versa. So, so, or vice versa. So that is what is bringing about the physical revolt that we see. You know, in terms of beating a man, beating his wife by a, a, a woman. Most often, the most often yeah. the most state is yes. the man beating his wife. Yes. Like a ninety percent of the time. Yes. 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 So I can assure you. Let me give you an example. Yeah. Yes. If you think about the ego of a man. Yes. A man will not even tell his best friend that he's being abused at home. A woman will tell him. So statistically, 90% are women, I agree. Mm -hmm. But you need to understand that there are men being abused. And I'm not advocating for men. We are talking about gender-based yes. violence. And we need to understand that it needs to be called completely. Whether male Whether or female, it mean. needs to be called. Exactly. And you know, there are many social experiments where you see a man dragging a woman by the hair in the streets, exactly. people will stand up and beat him up. You see a woman dragging a man, and people laugh at the man. Yes. They laugh at the man. And the society, yes. we, 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 we put it on a young child, a, a male child, and you say, you're crying. 
Because if this sister hits you and those kind, you're a man. Yeah. You're a man. Yeah. Men don't cry. Yeah. You're not supposed to cry. Yeah, and sometimes we go, we take it a step further and we say, you're a man. You're supposed to be able to hit back. Now, there was something George told mentioned to me before we came on camera about uh, the reason why God created institution of the three reasons yes. about uh, you know the God's purpose and maybe yes. you can also prove well, the, the, when we come to the domestic dimension of this thing because see we call it domestic violence not um, societal but domestic yes. in, in the home where this violence takes place a, a man has a, there's a purpose for marriage in the first place the first is to be able to fulfill the purpose of the person who set up man God has a purpose for marriage and and of course the another one is to be able to procreate have children and now the next one is for them to have companionship to have fellowship to relate with each other now where you have a, a domestic setting where any of this thing is lacking for whatever reason in other words if the husband and the wife don't have one single thing they are living for they are working towards the, the, the tendency the purpose, the purpose, or purpose. Purpose of what they are working the, the tendency for that that home to be dysfunctional is likely. Number two, if you have a home where the, 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 the procreation dimension of it is not there as well, that means they don't have children and they think children is important to them, the, the tendency for violence, not probably not physical violence, but emotional violence, the woman, the man can tell the wife, look at you, can you are you are yeah, an, I'm I'm man. Man. Yeah. you know those those things are you know emotional violence. Such things exist. Also, where you don't where you have a situation where the companionship dimension is not there. You're not friends. You're not friends. So you just live with a stranger. So th those are vi dimensions of domestic violence which are not often. But don't about. forget and don't ignore the one of violence. If you are raised in a violent home and you are made to believe that that is that normal, is you will likely be Absolutely. a violent. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely because you think it is you normal it is so normal. we need to find a way to that's why i started by saying we need to train boys on what it means to be a man mm -hmm. and being a man does not mean you don't cry yes it does that's not mean you don't you're, don't you're, it does not mean that you have the right to hit anybody yes. male or female it does not mean you shouldn't cook does or clean your hands it does not mean any of that absolutely. teach a male child to be as responsible in the domestic environment as you teach a female child, yes. if a female child carries a broom, a male child should carry a broom. broom. Yes. Now, a male child wants to change a tire, teach her to change it. She may not have the physical yes. strength, yes. Yes. but she should know what to do. Yes. So she should see herself. And I tell people, we, we, the whole, we all seem to confuse the concept of equality with similarity. That's why equal does not mean we're similar. Equality is about rights and opportunities. Mm -hmm. We have we should have equal rights and equal opportunity. Does not mean we're similar. Yeah. You are better at something than me. Yeah. And I should not I should respect that we are I should respect it as simple as that. And I should not say because you're better, it is therefore your role and your job. It is not. Some women are raised to prefer doing things in the kitchen. In the so kitchen. if you are better than me, yes. it does not make it your role. I could I wish I could I could very respect yes, I could very strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. People sit down and I for one, I'm female. I don't like markets. Yeah. Then the fact of mine in Abuja. Have you been, how much do you sell this and that? If somebody has to be paid to go to the market, I'll gladly go do that. In fact, I'll my, late, my, 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 my late brother uh, derived joy in going to the market. He went to the market. He died. So, he, so he was when you have a market, husband like to, that to, yeah. and he goes to the market, they'll think you're manipulating him into going to the market. We also too. Yes, I was even going to ask what is the role of religious organization in domestic violence, in dealing with domestic well, violence? Well, we, as I say, another a topic for another day because we don't have uh, much time to deal with it. Maybe another day, if it's good, but those guys will be able to handle it. To recap, balance, communication, and respect for the opposite sex are important when it comes to reducing domestic violence. And remember, we all play a part in turning the tides. Well, that's all that we have time for today on Patito's Gang. Thank you for joining us. We hope that you found today's episode to be informative and enlightening. Join the conversation. Follow us on all our social media pages displayed right there on your screen. I am Nenna Jemie, and until next time, take care and be well.